Hi everyone and thanks for watching PsyQ. It's no secret around the YouTube offices that I'm a huge Diet Coke fan and I also love my coffee, but every time I go for that third or fourth or fifth cup of coffee, there's always someone in the kitchen going, Jay, don't you think you've had enough coffee for today? Well, here at PsyQ, I wanted to know how much coffee is too much coffee. Now, don't get me wrong, caffeine can kill you, but it would take about 100 cups of coffee or around 300 cans of Coke to have enough caffeine in your system to kill you. And whilst you're busy putting the caffeine in, your body is busy getting it out one way or another. So you have to be pretty unlucky to die from an overdose of coffee itself, although people have died from caffeine supplements. Caffeine isn't actually a stimulant itself, it just blocks the action of adenosine. As our cells normally function, adenosine is release and it builds up and makes us feel tired. It's kind of like an overprotective parent telling us to go to bed. Jay, go to bed, you're tired. Because your brain is now equipped with so many adenosine receptors, around 24 hours after stopping your caffeine consumption, you'll notice some side effects like mental fogginess and a lack of alertness. Things might get worse, including headaches, nausea, and general flu-like symptoms. But the good news is seven to 12 days later, your brain will have gone back to the normal amount of adenosine receptors. You'll be like a coffee virgin again, and that first cup of joe will hit you just like it did the very first time. But why would you wanna do that to yourself? The number one cure for caffeine withdrawal is more caffeine. And caffeine has some awesome other positive side effects, including, but not limited to, increasing alertness, increasing stamina, and increasing memory. It's also been linked to things like reducing your risk of erectile dysfunction, liver disease, and skin cancer. The only real problem with caffeine is that it's pretty effective and can take a long time to leave your body, over eight hours in some cases. So if you wanna avoid things like insomnia, it's best to keep your caffeine consumption capped to about four cups of coffee a day or eight cans of Coke. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't wanna miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.